Over the last 30 years, there's three things that I make that my husband really likes. One is my macaroni salad, second is chili, and third is spaghetti. And tonight is spaghetti night. I'm starting off by cooking off one pound of spaghetti pasta. Remember to reserve about a cup of the pasta water. You can use this to thin down the spaghetti sauce. And if you're mixing the pasta and the sauce together in a bowl, add some of the water. That'll help the sauce stick to spaghetti. In a medium to medium high skillet, add about a pound to a pound and a half of ground beef, salt and pepper, Brown off and chop up until done. This is lean ground beef, but I still ended up with a little bit of fat, so I'm going to drain that off. In the same skillet on medium heat, I'm adding a couple tablespoons of oil, one cup of chopped onion, one cup of chopped bell pepper, and one cup of sliced mushrooms. Adding a little black pepper. I'm not adding salt because that's going to draw out the moisture of the mushrooms. I'm going to saute for about five minutes. You can find this recipe and more on my Facebook and Google Plus page. Remember to come give me a visit. I'm adding a nice sized tablespoon of minced garlic and cook for an additional two to three minutes. At this point, if I had a red or white wine, I would add about a half a cup and cook an additional minute or two just to cook off the alcohol. The wine really gives it a nice rich flavor. In my pot, I have a 28 ounce can each of tomato puree, tomato sauce, and crushed tomatoes. I've added my cooked ground beef and my vegetables. I've given it a good stir and brought it up to heat, and now I'm going to add my seasonings. And I'm adding a tablespoon of oregano, basil, Italian seasonings, and a teaspoon of thyme. Give it a good stir and reduce your heat to a low medium, just to a simmer. At this time, if you want to add some meatballs or Italian sausage, they really add a lot of flavor to the sauce. Now I'm going to let that cook for a good 45 minutes to an hour to let all those flavors develop. I'm going to check on it about every 15 minutes and give it a good stir. Now I'm adding about a half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. Good stuff. The house is smelling good and I think my husband knows what we're having for supper. Giving a good stir, I'm going to taste for seasonings and let it cook for an additional 15 to 20 minutes. Serving tonight with a fresh kale salad with a vinaigrette.
You can use any kind of pasta you want. I'm using spaghetti tonight. Sometimes I use linguine or fettuccine. Of course you gotta garnish it with a little bit of grated parmesan. If I'm feeding a group of people, I will mix the pasta and the sauce together and serve in a bowl. But if it's just my husband and I, I'll dish out the pasta first, then ladle the sauce on top. Thanks for joining me in Tessa's kitchen. I hope you make this spaghetti. Love it and enjoy. Please remember to hit the like button and subscribe for future recipe videos from Tessa's Kitchen. You can also find me on Google+, Facebook, and Pinterest. Come visit again and enjoy.